All right. Hey, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am the stock market jobber, but I am kind of thinking about changing my name to purring puppy, which you probably know is the opposite of roaring kitty. And I just want to look at GameStop because there's so much going on about it. You know, you had the live stream today. There's all this hoopla, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes, well, I would say most of the time, certain market principles come into play like what's a market principle all right when a market gets to a former level that had been resistance it tends to get to resistance there again the next time it goes up it gets to resistance it goes lower it goes back up gets to that same level and if it's, it's resistance why does this happen oh yeah and by the way um you know subscribe and hit all that uh stuff you're supposed to do that my marketing people tell me um sign up for the notifications that's it so anyway, there's a reason why when we get to a former peak, there's resistance. There are people that bought at that peak and then the market goes lower and they're just like, wow, you know, I made a mistake. If it ever gets back up to my level and I get out of break, even I'm going to. So there's a reason why there is resistance at former peaks. It's not mythology. It's not astrology. It's supply and demand dynamics. You can see it here. You can see it here. One of the things I learned from my, you know, whatever, 25 years in the institutional world, which kind of dates me, but whatever, you know, now I like to teach people is, you know, some of the, it's about these market principles. Most technical analysts make it too, like, you know, crazy. It's understanding supply, understanding levels, understanding momentum, psychology. That's it. Now check this out. All right. So back, way back in, April of 22, levels around 47 and a half were important. Market goes lower. Why do markets sell off of resistance? Well, when the sellers who created the resistance start to undercut each other, that's what happens. But you, you guys can all check that out on my um, <clears throat> soon to be published trading school. But anyway, so March of 22nd, this level is important. <clears throat> August, August or not, not March of 22nd, March of 2022 was important. August of 2022 was important. All right, so let's fast forward, you know, a year and a half later. So here's where the whole, like, Roaring Kitty thing starts again. And where does it find resistance? Look at that. The same price levels that was resistance back in November of 21. This is what we call market memory. A price level that's important can stay important for a long time. Months you know, weeks, even years, like we're seeing here. And as someone who's been doing this for a long time, it still amazes me. Now, check it out. So this price level was where two peaks were. So it gets to a level where there's a peak before and it sells off. Where does it find support? The level that was the peak before. It's not a coincidence where this, you know, this support is here, all right? This is the closing price. This is not a coincidence. People sold at the peak back here, been waiting since then to be able to buy their shares back. Uh, actually, no, I said the wrong way. To sell their shares. They bought their shares here. <clears throat> they regret doing so. You've probably experienced this too. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, if you have, please hit me up on uh, whatever, YouTube or Substack. But anyway, resistance at former resistance levels. People buy. Price goes down. They say, if it gets back to my level, I'm going to sell, get out of break even. So much of trading is understanding important price levels. And that's what most of my students are amazed when they come to understand it. Now, check this out. Important price level, found support. Where do we find resistance? Right around here. Where was, just to give this a little bit more. Uh, all right, so that's 47.50. Where was today's high trade? 48 within 50 cents where was yesterday's high trade 47 47 50 exactly all right when we sold off where did we find support at this price level that has been in porn before it was support here all right support now this is sellers from March people sell and then the price goes higher and they're like Ugh. at first the price goes lower and they're like wow I did a great thing but then it goes higher and they say, if it ever gets back to my level, I'm going to buy my shares back. The same price I sold them at. 
So anyway, what I just want to say is as someone who's been doing this for a long time, technical analysis and trading is not really about all this weird stuff. It's just about understanding supply and demand. This is what markets are. And it's about understanding human and trading psychology. And if you get to that, that's the level where you start making money. And we talk about it all the time. So make sure you subscribe. And I hope to see you soon.